Okay, guys, what is up? Welcome back into the channel, guys. Today, um, we're going to be talking about a couple of different things. Um, but uh, first off, I want to talk about Matthew Stafford being named um, Week 3 NFC Offensive Player of the Week. Um, it was announced this, ma this morning that... Um, he was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week. Um, second time for him this year. Um, we'll talk about that a little um, later. Um, Ron Sunday versus the Bucks. Um, he completed 27 of 38 pass attempts for 343 yards and four touchdowns. Um, so obviously he had 11. Incompletions, but looking at that 343 yards, that's what um really uh, stands out to me is the uh, 343 yards there. Um, but um, right now he his four touchdown passes last week gave him nine total this year, which tied him with Kurt Warner for most touchdown passes. By a Rams quarterback through the first three games of a season. Um, he has nine touchdowns um, to one interception this year so far. Um, it's the best ratio he's ever had in the first three games of his NFL career, uh, which has been 13 years he's been in the NFL. Um, so. That's um, pretty impressive. He's been in the NFL for 13 years. Um, but um, the Bucks was also uh, Stafford's 31st, 51st career game with 300 or more passing yards. Um, so I think he's gotten over 300 passing yards in all of his games with the Rams so far. Maybe not in week two. But he's been doing really good with us. Um, so this was the second um, player of the week on him in three weeks this season. And third overall uh, the NFL of his NFL career. Um, and he earned it in week... Well, he earned it also this year in week one and week three. And he also earned it uh, week 11 in 2009 which was his rookie season with the Lions um so um and Stafford also joined um Kurt Warner as the only Rams quarterback to win the award multiple times within a single season and we're in week three so and he won it twice in 2001 so I'm looking for Stafford to get good six, seven of them um, this year. He's already up to two, and we're in week three. So, uh, he's looking really good. Um, and also, John McVay gave an update on Daryl Henderson. Um, he's going to play against the Cardinals on Sunday. Um, so... He's not going to guarantee it, but uh, he's more than likely going to be back and um, ready um, for this week. And um, so far, he has 29 carries for 123 yards uh, and 4 catches for 46 yards in 2 games. And he didn't even play all of the Colts game because he got injured in, like, the third quarter. Um, so. Yeah. But, um. I also want to talk about, uh, Justin Holler. Uh, giving an update on him. Um, they're placing him on injured reserve. Um. Um. Because he's got to have a surgery uh, to repair his torn pectoral muscle. Um, so he's going to be out for a little while. Um, 
So he hopefully will be back this before the end of this year. Um, but when he was out last weekend against the Bucks, we saw Terrell Lewis step up, um, play for him. He had Lewis had two total tackles and one QB hat while playing in 34 snaps on defense. So um, we're also hoping Ogbo will be able to return this week after missing the uh, first three games with a shoulder injury. Um, but I think Terrell Lewis will be able to handle it. Um, and if Ogbo um, can come back this week, um, Okay, so, uh, if Ogbo comes back, though, it'll just help elevate the defense even more, but Lewis could definitely handle that. But, um, that's all for today's video, and, um, I'll see you guys next time.